Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we've got Mario 64 Remastered Gunslinger Hell on Earth. I missed the Yama Jack tries this morning. Which, uh... So there, there is a reason for it. Is it a good reason? Not really. But this, uh, this reason is kinda spiraled out of control and made my whole day just so much worse than it could have been. Um, and it's, it's entirely my fault. Um, so I, uh, I'll, I'll start from the beginning, I guess. Last night at, uh, I don't know, 7 o'clock, maybe 8 o'clock, maybe 9, 10, I don't know. Look, I don't, I don't really know when it, when it started. Um, but sometime last night, uh, one of my friends was talking about the Umbrella Academy, a, uh, a Netflix original series that they've been watching that's uh, apparently really good. So, I was like, I, I'm gonna start watching it as well. One of our other friends, one of our, our mutual friends there, he uh, he started watching like, I don't know, 20 minutes before me, so he was like a little bit ahead of me. And uh, so as I was watching it, I would just kind of like talk about whatever was happening, and then he'd kind of respond at whatever point I was at, right? Um, and it was good fun, it was really good fun to, uh, to do that because, um, like growing up I never really had those experiences, because I never really had friends or anything like that growing up. Um, I never watched, like, TV shows or anything and, and, like, talked about it as we went. Um, that's, that's never been an experience that I had, right? Like, I never, I never got excited about something with a friend and then did that because I never, I never actually had friends so much. Um, so, uh, it was, it was really, really, really fun and I got a little bit distracted. I ended up doing it until, like, 3 or 4 a.m. We, like, binged the, the heck out of this, uh, Umbrella Academy. Which was, uh, which was good fun. And, uh... So at like 3 a.m., 3.30 or whatever, I have to, I have to go to bed. And at that point, I still have to make the, um... The thumbnail and all of that for the, the KF2 episode that went up this morning. Um... I had to... You know, do all of my, my nightly duties. So I didn't actually get to bed and, like, sleeping until probably 4.30. So, when I woke up was, like eight hours later, because I, I do a, a nice solid eight hours of sleep every day, um, I got up at like 12.30, and uh, at that point in time I was like, it's just, I don't think the Amajack tries is going to happen today. Because uh, if I'm going to record it at 12.30, it's not going to go up until probably like two, right? And at that point it's just, it's too late, um, and I didn't really feel like recording it, so I just kind of gave up on it. I don't really mind missing a Yamachek tries every now and then, but I'd, uh, I'd rather not, obviously, you know? But, uh, it, okay. Come on. That's what I saw coming. I saw it coming, so I got it at 12.30. I didn't really feel like recording a Yamachek try, so I didn't. Um, and I was really, really hungry at that point, because I eat, like, typically once a day at around 12.30 to 2 o'clock-ish, so at around that time, every day, I get hungry. <laughs> you know, that's, 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 that's my food time, that's when I eat, so I'm hungry at that point. And, uh, so I decided to go make some food first, and, uh, now it's, like, 2.30 after I've had food and eaten and, you know, all that. And it's so flippin' hot, and I, like, cooked, so I was upstairs, like, over the oven and, and cooking, and it's even hotter upstairs when, uh, when my computer's off, anyway. When, when my computer's on, it's hotter in my room, but when my computer's off, or, like, hasn't really been doing much, it's been idling, um, generally speaking, it's, uh cooler in, uh, in in my room than upstairs just because uh, I have a fan and uh, my windows open and I don't have too much stuff producing heat there isn't like I don't know my uh, my windows are on the uh, the back side of the house we don't have uh, like sunlight there in the mornings um, so it's like generally speaking in the mornings when I wake up and my computer has been running all day my room is cooler right so I was upstairs over the hot oven cooking away and uh, then I come back downstairs and I have to record, so I can't even put my fan back on. And I have to uh, sit here and, and record this, so it's like 
Just just watching the Umbrella Academy, just everything kind of spiraled out of control. My god, like, I just ate lunch. I hate eating right before I record. Because I got, like... You got you gotta, like, clear your throat every now and then. Like, you... you if you're just gonna eat and then kind of, like, exist after that, it's fine. But if you're gonna eat and then be like, Alright, so I have to go and immediately record, like, an hour or 40 minutes or whatever of content. And I have to be talking for all of that. Like, your voice just... It's it's really, really bad on your voice. Um, so you might be able to hear my voice sounding a little bit different today because of that. Um, especially towards the, uh, the start. I feel like it's kind of getting better now, but... Where's the other one? Hello. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's kind of just everything. Everything is kind of spiraled out of control because of that Umbrella Academy. But it was uh, it was a good time. The Umbrella the Umbrella Academy is a really really good show. I, I definitely recommend it. I've just finished watching episode eight last night, um, and uh, they they hit you with a big cliffhanger. At, at the end of like every episode so you just you keep wanting to watch one more you know and then all of a sudden it's 4 a.m. and you've watched a few more than just one more but uh, it's good and it was it was fun to, to be able to watch it with a friend and uh, kind of like commentate on it as we go he also likes to do similar things to me like uh, I a lot of people don't like predicting what happens in a show um, but me and this guy apparently do. So uh, it was it's good fun. I love being able to think about like what's going to happen in the uh, in the series and uh, seeing how like close I was to predicting it. I will tell you at episode 8. So in episode 1 I predicted like how the entire season was going to go. And episode 8 and I'm going to say I was pretty much spot on. <laughs> So with uh, with some 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 a little bit of thought, you can you can pretty much guess how the show's gonna go from the uh, from the start. But uh, I don't mind that so much. I like when I'm uh, when I'm able to do that because you still get surprised by stuff, right? Like I might have guessed how the the general plot was gonna go, but I didn't know what episode stuff was gonna happen or like how it was gonna happen or you know any of that kind of stuff, right? So there's there's still surprises and plot twists and cliffhangers and all this that uh, that surprises you. Even if you're able to predict what's going to happen in the show, but I, uh, I do definitely enjoy that. So um, it was good. Uh, it was good fun to. Uh... God, I thought did I get two headshots on her and she didn't die? So it was, uh, it was good fun to be able to, to experience that for once in my life because I've never I've never done that before, right? I've watched shows with my sister, um, but that's that's not the same, right? It's not the same as when you're watching it with a friend and. And uh, my sister doesn't like predicting how shows go anyway, so even if I am watching a show with her, I can't be like, oh, this is totally going to go this way. Like, she gets mad when I do that, because I'm usually right. <laughs> and uh, she doesn't like predicting it, because she, she feels that it takes away a lot of the uh, the suspense and the surprise. She doesn't like when, when somebody just predicts it like that, and uh, I personally do, so... Um, it, was, it, was, it, was, uh, it, was, it was a really, really fun experience to be able to... To watch it with a friend who enjoyed watching shows the same way that I do, because I've never I've never experienced that before. I, uh, I you know growing up I've had uh, I wouldn't say that I had like a troubled childhood necessarily, but like I will say that I'm autistic and trans, so like there's there's a lot of my childhood was was putting on a mask and pretending to be somebody that I'm not for for other people and making them happy so I never I never got to like genuinely experience a lot of the things that uh, that people do and when they're growing up generally you know and a lot of the things that I did experience were, were not necessarily um, the things that I would want to experience because I, I grew up not being the the little girl that I wanted to be right um, so it was it was the first time I got to I got to do that with a friend which was a uh, very nice. I would say it was worth it. Um, would I do it again? Like probably not. <laughs> I don't. I stayed up really late, and it felt really bad when I woke up. So probably not. But I would say it was worth it. It was. It was worth the trade of the the Amajack tries anyway. I would. Uh, I would personally say. And uh, yeah, so that's that's why there's no Yamajack tries today. There will be another one tomorrow. Um, I will definitely have it tomorrow. 
Don't even don't even worry about that. And you know it is hot in here right now, so when I wake up, I uh, I'm like dead when I wake up, right? Like when I when I when I just wake up, I may as well be high or drunk, right? Like it, it's I'm bad when I wake up um, until I get out of bed. I'm I'm incomprehensible, and uh, I don't know. It's like uh, I have this this layer, this this like abstraction layer in my brain that uh, that keeps me from from doing things that uh, I shouldn't do, or or keeps me looking somewhat normal or being able to behave in a normal way. And uh, until I actually get out of bed, <laughs> that abstraction layer is just it ain't there, <laughs> you know. It's uh, it's not it's not there when I've uh, when I've just woken up. So I uh, I don't have that like filter telling me oh yeah don't do this thing or you know make sure you're typing stuff. If I make like mistakes as I'm typing, I'm just like ah, whatever. Like they'll get it probably, and then when they don't, I'm like oh, why are you guys so bad? You know, like uh, yeah. So I uh, when I woke up this morning, I was. Uh, I was I was in I was in that kind of situation because uh, I don't know sometimes I wake up and I don't want to get out of bed for a while and until I get out of bed until I like make the decision to get out of bed I haven't really woken up I'm uh, I'm definitely not very capable of uh, of behaving as normally as I normally do which isn't even to say that normal but until until I get out of bed it's uh, it's definitely you know the gloves are off. For, for with regards to uh, my inability to behave like a normal human being. So I got to, I got to, I got to do that today. And it's like uh, I've been I've been friends with these people for like so long, right? Like years, years and years. And uh, it's not it's not the first time that they've uh, had to deal with me when I've just woken up, right? But it's always. Every time, they're always like, "Is Yama drunk? Is Char drunk?" I'm like, no, I've j I've just woken up. <laughs> very, very similar. I can understand how you got them confused. They are, they are, very, very similar, but not not quite the same thing. You think they'd uh, you think they'd learn after uh, after a few years of uh, being friends that. Uh, I'm incapable of behaving like a normal human being when I've just woken up. It's not like I need to get my coffee or anything like that. Like I don't really drink coffee, and if I do, you, I'm, I'm definitely not behaving like a normal person. Um, but uh, I just, I just have to like commit to being awake. Until I do that, I just, I don't have the motivation to like, like, like I, I guess that's what it is. is that until I have the motivation to actually commit to being like awake and out of bed and doing things, I, I haven't committed to to being. Like normal <laughs> and uh, and putting on my like try to be a, a human being thing, you know. So I have to try. I don't. It doesn't come naturally. To some people, it comes naturally. Some people, they're like, oh yeah, like I'm just a, a normal person and I behave like a normal person. I'm like, yeah, me too. <laughs> me, me too. I'm also a normal person and I also behave like a, a normal person. Look at that. We're both we're both normal people. What a what a coincidence! Us us normal people being all all normal together. I don't know, man. I don't want to be normal anyway. A lot of people are like, "Oh, we're gonna we're gonna find a cure for your for your thing," and I'm like, "Why though? Why? Who's who's asking for this? You normal people?" Why do you why do you decide that I have to be normal? You know? Come on. We can we can make this shot. Or not. That's okay too. The area remains totally secure. It's okay that we don't make the shot. Sometimes you know just now. Very nice work. Why did I do that? Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, me. Whatever you want. 
My cat is being obsessively needy today. Aggressively, even, one might say. She's, uh... You put, you put your hand somewhere that she can get to it, and she's just charging your hand down. Like, oh yeah, that hand is all over my face right now. Get that hand behind my ears. And I'm like, look, I'll, I'll pet you, but like... Can I first, like, scratch my nose or something? Like... You right over there or something? You over there? Yeah, you're right over there. I see you, boy. Okay, we have to, like, not be right here right now, because this is actually a bad spot to be. I think that is uh, his arm, or his, like... Not his arm, but, uh, like, right there is his, his super weak spot. But we have to go for headshots anyways, the gunslinger, because, uh... We need them rack -em ups so it doesn't really matter. You just shoot everything in the face until it dies. That's my strategy. If it's not dead yet, shoot it in the face. I'm feeling generous. That's the, that's the gunslinger lifestyle. These don't really look like trees. They look more like, I don't know. They look like those bacteria... Like, things that they'll show in, like, educational videos and whatnot. It's like little weird bacteria bulges. Looks like they should be, like... Bulging and like pulsating. <laughs> anyway, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.